remember. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Well, yes, my friends, how deep does the rabbit hole really go? Well, that's what we're here to discover. Dedicated to the only serious choice, the gospel of Jesus Christ in music and the spoken word. You're watching White Source Victory Television Live with me, your host, Pastor Jay Stan McCauley, inviting you to sit back and relax for the next 25 minutes as we continue our journey into the life-changing, life-giving, everlasting word of the Most High God. My friends, it is in ta- indeed time for the most important half hour of the day. So, Grab your Bible, your pencil, the paper, all the things necessary in order to take the journey with us. Now, unfortunately, we're not live tonight. A little technical issues. Uh, you know, YouTube is in maintenance mode, which means we can't uh, broadcast live. But it's 11 o'clock. It is the appointed time and hour. And after all, it is my Bible study time that I spend with you. So, broadcasting live from the greatest city on earth, Hartford, Connecticut, New England's rising star, it is time for Light Source Victory Television Live. Stick and stay, don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Oh, yeah. Okay, my friends, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing exceedingly abundantly, totally, thoroughly well. I know I am. Uh, you know, we're a little, little uh, you know, it, it's, it's mildly depressing that we, um, that we're not live. Because, of course, I, I love live broadcasting, but it, it is what it is. And uh, we are here. And after all, it is my Bible study time that I spend with you. We try and do it every Sunday through Thursday right here at accesstv.org. And most of you watch the program uh, on demand anyway. So it, um, it it doesn't really matter at the end of the day that we're not live per se. But uh, it is still nice to be live. And um, because of uh, technical issues uh, with YouTube being in maintenance mode, we are unable to broadcast live. But uh, you know what? Bible study must continue, even still. So, with that, turn your Bible, okay, to Romans chapter 15, verse 19. This is where we were when we were last together, which of course was yesterday. And uh, we were reading out of Romans uh, chapter uh, 15. We had gotten all the way up to verse uh, 20, and... uh, uh, we're starting at uh, 22, 21. But I figure we'll drop back just a half uh, a, a verse, if you will, to, to 19. And, and we'll pick it up there and go forward. If you missed any portion of the program and you want to get up to speed, all you have to do is log on to accesstv.org. And uh, then you can, uh, you can, you can, you know, you can get caught up. All of the programs uh, that we uh, have taped... Are right there so you'll be able to uh, get up to speed okay we got a little feedback coming in here from somewhere I'm not quite sure where or what's going on <clears throat> all right uh, on this side of your screen where's where's my I have too many mice here in front of me oh this here we go okay on this side of your screen is the new living translation okay on this side of your screen is the authorized version. All right. And so we're going to start over here. 
verse 19, top of your screen. I have won them over by the miracles done through me as signs from God, all by the power of God's Spirit. In this way, I have fully presented the good news of Christ all the way from Jerusalem clear over to Illyricum. Illyricum. If you were with us yesterday, you remember that we we looked up the word because the host of the program didn't know how to pronounce it, so we had to look it up to to see. Illyricum. Illyricum. I think that's how. I think that's how you how you pronounce that. I I hope so. Nonetheless. Verse 20, top of your screen. My ambition has always been to preach the good news. Where the name of Christ has never been heard, rather than where a church has already been started by someone else. I have been following... I have been following the plan spoken of in the scriptures where it says those who have never been told about him will see and those who have never heard of him will understand. Verse 22. This brings us up to speed. Okay. The host is warm because there's heat blowing up underneath my chair. So I need some cool air in here. It's hot under these hot lights. And uh, the host is tired from being out on production all day. And um, the heat just makes it um, more challenging. Okay. Verse 22, reading out of the New Living Translation, Romans 15. Romans 15. In fact, my visit to you has been delayed so long because I have been preaching in these places. But now, I have finished my work in these regions. And after all these long years of waiting, I am eager to visit you. Paul's going to come and preach, preach a little word to them. All right, Verse 24, top of your screen. I am planning to go to Spain. I am planning to go to Spain. And when I do, I will stop off in Rome. And after I have enjoyed your fellowship for a little while, you can send me on my way again. But before I come, I must go down to Jerusalem to take a gift to the Christians there. For you see, the believers in Greece have eagerly taken up an offering for the Christians in Jerusalem who are going through such hard times. They were glad to do this because they feel they owe a real debt to them. Since the Gentiles receive the wonderful spiritual blessing, blessings of the good news from the Jewish Christians. They feel the least they can do in return is to help them financially. As soon as I have delivered this money and completed this good deed of theirs, I will come to you. I will come to see you on my way to Spain. And I am sure that when I come, Christ will give me great give me a great blessing for you. Dear brothers and sisters, I urge you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to join me in my struggle by praying to God for me. Do this because of your love for me, given to you by the Holy Spirit. 
Pray that I will be rescued from those in Judea who refuse to obey God. Pray also that the Christians there will be willing to accept the donation that I am bringing them. Then by the will of God, I will be able to come to you with a happy heart and we will be an encouragement to each other. And now, may God who gives us peace be with you all. Amen. Our sister Phoebe, a deacon in the church in Sen Senshiria, Strong's numbers on. Find out a little bit about this church here. Make sure we're pronouncing it right. This is where seminary comes in handy. Learn how to pronounce these long Greek words. That's not quite what we wanted, but it'll do. Um... In Corinth. Okay. In Corinth. Uh, and you pronounce this. Sincheria. Sincheria. That's how I would pronounce it. Sincheria. The eastern harbor of, excuse me, yeah, the eastern harbor of Corinth. It's harbor on the, on the uh, Saronic Gulf. And the Imperium of its trade with Shores Mediterranean. Okay. All right, nothing spectacular about it. Millet is what it means. Okay, just one double check, one make sure. Strong's numbers off. Okay, Strong's numbers off. There we go. All right, you know you never can be sure. So when I come across a word I can't pronounce. It means I don't know what it means. Because if I could pronounce it, um, if I can't pronounce it, I don't know what it means. It's just, okay. And so that means I have to look it up, see how to pronounce it. I also need to look it up and see what it means. You know, words you know how to pronounce, the words you generally, at least for me, generally that I know. Okay. Some people. Um, read words and they don't know what they mean but they can read them and have no problem pronouncing them so they just roll with it but if I don't know what something means I stop and I look it up now I say that to say this and go through this exercise so that you will be encouraged to do the same now if I can sit on television and do it then you can do this in the comfort of your own home uh, when the only thing necessary is to overcome, you know, to overcome uh, laziness or an unwillingness to go the extra distance necessary to look the word up. You have a concordance. You've got a Bible dictionary. You obviously, if you're watching this program, have the Internet. So you can copy and paste the words you don't know or type the words out. Uh, into your into your the your Google search engine or whatever search engine you use, um, and look up the word and see what it means. Okay, so there's no excuse for you know a, a lack of knowledge or as we like to say ignorance. All right, 
Uh, being ignorant is all right. Staying ignorant isn't. All right. I mean, you you don't know something, you don't know something. That that's not a crime. But to not know something, to then move beyond it and remain ignorant, that's that to me that's problematic. All right. So she's in the church in in in, in Centuria. Our sister Phoebe, 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 a deacon in the church in Caesarea, or Centuria, will be coming to see you soon. Receive her in the Lord as one who is worthy of high honor. Help her in every way you can. For she has helped in many she has helped many in their needs including me greet priscilla and aquila they have been co-workers in my ministry for christ in fact they risked their lives for me i am not the only one who is thankful to them so are all of the Gentile churches. Please give them my greetings to the church. Please give my greetings to the church that meets in their home. Greet my dear friend. Epentis. I guess that's how you say that. He was the first the very first person to become a Christian in the province of Asia. Epentius. Epentius. I guess that's how you would pronounce that. Verse 6, top of your screen. Give my greeting to Mary, who has worked so hard for your benefit. Then there are and Aronicus and Junia. I guess that's how you would pronounce that. My relatives who were in prison with me, they are respected among the apostles and became Christians before I did. Give them my greeting. Say hello to Ampelitus. Am, ampliatus, ampliat, ampliatus. I guess that's how you would pronounce that. It's a little different over here in the King James. Whom I love as the Lord's own children. And Urbanus, our co worker in Christ and beloved. Stacious. I guess that's how you'd pronounce that. Stacious. Give my greeting to Apelles, a good man whom Christ approves. Verse 10, top of your screen. And give my best regards to the members of the household of. A Chris Aristopolis. I guess that's how you would, would pronounce that. Aristopolis. Aristob Arist Aristobulus. I, I would I that's how I would pronounce it. I'm I'm by no means a linguist. Greet Herodian, Herodian, our relative, greet the Christians in the household of Narcissus. Hmm. Not interesting. Oh, we can't see that. Strong's numbers on. 
look up this name. A flower of the same name. Hmm. Hmm. Jeez, I'm mean, gonna name like that stupidity. Narcissus. Wow. You know, names mean things. I don't know how he got that name. Uh, yeah, some names you don't want to have. But his name means stupidity. Be careful what you name your children. All right, from the household of, verse 12, top of your screen, say hello to Tri Finna, Trifina, Trifina, and Tri. Fosa. They sound like African Americans. Trifosa. Having more fun than Christians should be allowed to have. Never underestimate the power of a good night's sleep. I'm so tired to take everything I have to stay here. Trust me when I tell you. But that's okay. A good day, bad day, up day, down day. I don't care what kind of day you're having. Take the time out for Bible study. You're better to have it than to not have it. Nothing should come in between you and the time that you spend with the Lord. All right. And so by being here every day, I hope to make that point abundantly clear. Whether I'm having a good day or a bad day, I'm going to try my very best to be here. Okay. Greet Rufus. Oh, I skipped. Can't skip over it. Say hello to Tri Tri Trifena Trifia Trifinia Tri Trifena. I can't. I don't know. I'm I'm guessing. And Tri 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 Fosa. I guess that's how you would say that. The Lord's worker and there and dear uh. Prissus, Prissus, Pierces, Priesus, Priesus, and Priesus, who has worked so hard for the Lord. Greet Rufus. I have an uncle Rufus. I have a friend of mine named Rufus too. I have an uncle Rufus. Uh, whom the Lord picked out to be his very own, and also his dear mother, whom has been a mother to me. And please give my greeting to Ah uh, A S Y N Centris A Centris A Centris Ah Flagon Hermes, Petrobus, Petrobus, Hermas, and the brothers and sisters who are with them. I know it's painful, but we'll get through it together. Greet each other. Oh, that, that skip, can't skip 15. Uh, uh, give me, give my greetings to Philogos, Philo Logos, Philologos, Julia, Nearus, and his sister. And to Olympus <laughs> and all the other 
believers who are with them greet each other in Christian love. All the churches of Christ send you greetings. Verse 17, top of your screen. We're almost done, my friends. We're almost done. And now I make one more appeal, my dear brothers and sisters. Watch out for people who cause division and upset people's faith by teaching things that are contrary to what you have been taught. Stay away from them. Such people are not serving Christ our Lord. They are serving their own personal interests. By smooth talking and glowing words, they deceive innocent people. But everyone knows that you are obedient to the Lord. This makes me very happy. I want you to see clearly what is right and stay innocent of any wrong. Verse 20, top of your screen. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Timothy. My dear, excuse me, Timothy, my fellow worker, and uh, Lucius, Jason, and uh, Sosipater, Sosipater, Sosapater, my relatives, send you their good wishes. I, t I treat, I, Tertius, Tertius. I Tertius, I, that's I think how you say that. Uh, the one who is writing this letter for Paul send you greetings as well or two, as a Christian brother. Gaius uh, says hello to you, and uh, I am his guest. And the church meets here in his home. Eratus. Er the city treasurer sends you his greetings, and so does uh, Quartus, a Christian brother. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Now that verse is in the King James, but not in the New Living Translation. That's why I read it from the King James. Verse 25, top of your screen. God is able to make you strong just as the good news says. It is the message about Christ, Jesus Christ that his plan and his plan for you Gentiles, a plan kept secret from the beginning of time, but now, as the prophets foretold and as the eternal God has commanded, this message is made known to all Gentiles everywhere, so that they might believe and obey Christ. To God, who alone is able, or to who alone is wise, be the glory forever through Christ Jesus. Amen. We made it. That it wasn't so good, but it wasn't so bad. Right? Okay. All right, Pastor Stan is very tired, and so I'm going to go home. Been a long day. Been up since 7 o'clock this morning. Actually, since quarter to 7. This, no, seven it's quarter after 7. Been up since quarter after 7 this morning, and had a very long day. We got back from a very interesting discussion at the Hartford Public Library on civil rights and race. Taped that probably about an hour before we came on the air. And I haven't eaten today. Uh, so I'm going to uh, go get some energy, go to bed, and get ready for another day tomorrow. Good day, bad day, up day, down day. I don't care what kind of day you have. Take the time out of your day for Bible study. There's never an excuse to not have Bible study. And, uh, you know, it would be real easy not to do it, particularly since we had technical problems with YouTube today. Uh, but um, that's not an excuse because at the end of the day, I guess who knows whether or not you're doing what you should be doing? Jesus. And he's the one that you should be doing it all for. To him belongs all the glory, now and forevermore. Amen. Do all that you do for the glory and the love of God. Be uh, strong in the faith. Love one another in Christ Jesus. And uh, be about the business 
of winning the loss for Jesus. Okay? My friends, our time together has come to an end. Remember, when it's all said and done, the only thing you need to know is this fact. And that is, of course, that Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. He alone saves and changes lives. Won't you call on his name today? Allow him to be Lord of your life. God bless you. Stay strong in the faith. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night. Questions, comments, criticisms, and complaints, call me directly. Numbers on the screen, 860-944-9797. Stay strong in the faith. We'll see you right here tomorrow night. Bye-bye.